Welcome to SDX. I'm Ricardo, and this is week 22 report. So let's start by saying this was a special week. But more on that later when I'm going to look at the, my sleeping stats. Um, it has been 20 weeks now since I started my fitness journey, where the ultimate test of strength will be dunking a basketball. The journey mostly focused on weight loss for now. Um, in week 10, we looked at the measured circumference, uh, which we'll look at today as well. I'm going to do that after every 10 weeks, uh, so I can review what the physical and visual uh, change has been over time. Um, I also show the super accurate physical measurement I did in week 10 reports, uh, which is checking how much belly fat I can grab this time. Um, let's start by looking at my weight. Um, at the start of my journey, my weight was 94.65 kilogram. And in week 10 report, my weight was 86.60 kilogram. My weight loss was around 8 kilogram and on average 0 0.8 kilogram per week. And today, my weight is 84.4 kilogram. So since week 10, my weight loss was 2.2 kilogram and on average. 0 0.22 kilogram per week. Now, weight loss in the last 10 weeks was almost four times slower than in the first 10 weeks. Um, like I mentioned in the last weeks, uh, it has become way harder to lose weight and it will probably keep being hard. And if we look at the trends in the in circumference, then we can see there isn't much change. So physically, I'm only a little bit slimmer than ten weeks ago. Now let's look at we can look at the neck, but it doesn't mean anything. No, it doesn't mean much. I think uh, shoulder width. So if we look from around the middle, which would be week 10 till now, there isn't much change. A lot of ups and downs and measurement isn't really accurate with this, but we can see it's still in the same range. Same for, for the bust, uh, the chest, chest width, uh, the waist, abdomen area, Hopefully, I think I hope the last uh, measurement was just a spike or bad measurement, and that we can keep going uh, in a downtrend. So, like I mentioned, physically not much change. I do feel it myself, and when I look in the mirror, I feel just a little bit slimmer than in week ten, but that's just about it. Now let's do uh, the belly grab test. Let's see. So, oh, I'm not holding in. And this is how much I can grab right now. So still a lot to grab. So I still have a long way to go. Um, since I started wearing my, my new smartwatch, I've also been looking more at my sleeping stats uh, in the app that comes along with it. You can see how much deep light and REM sleeps you got, and it tells you if it was enough or not. And you can also read tips uh, on how to improve. Uh, let me show you quickly for a bit. So this is the app and you can see how much deep sleep I got and light sleep. 
and the yellow one is when I'm awake. Uh, on this day, there was not, not even any REM sleep. So naturally, the sleeping score is pretty low here. So night's sleep on average is three and a half uh, or uh, yeah, and a half hour, uh, 38 minutes to be exact. It tells you that sleep at night was short. Portion of deep sleep was mild. Now, how can I fix that? So if you press on it, I can read some tips, which are uh, pretty interesting as well. Um, now, if you look at the previous days, same bad score. So, like you see in the app, my sleep hasn't been really good in the last few days. Actually, really bad. The reason for this is something great, but very demanding at the same time. I've become a dad of a newborn son. My kids are one of the big reasons and motivation for me taking this journey. Now, one day I hope they get to see this and think proudly of the dead. More importantly, I hope to be a good example uh, for them and leave them with a lot of uh, wisdom so they don't need to figure everything out uh, on their own. As parents, I think we are able uh, to give our children a running start in life so they don't need to spend like 80% of their lives to learn the same things we did. Before they start going beyond our uh, experience, wisdom, and knowledge. So sometimes or most times, I don't think that even happens. Uh, so with these videos, I partially hope to fulfill this goal as well. So my children can have a running start in life. So most of what made me the man I am today, I firstly thank God for it. And next to that, I am a person that analyzes a lot and takes the extra step that not everybody might take, which is applying knowledge or new knowledge I've, uh, in your life, even if it feels different, right? Or maybe it is like completely the opposite of what everybody else is doing. And some change just starts by wishing it. And when you're more experienced in life, that, that's just all that is needed. The rest will happen unconsciously because you want it, you wish it. Um, and it applies to anything. Some change I'm very thankful for uh, applied to a change in character, for example. Uh, for example, from approaching everything mostly in a negative and frustrating way, especially when I was uh, more of a teenager and younger. Um, and now mostly look for the positives and solutions. Other things will take more effort, discipline and planning, like my fitness goals. Now let's have a quick look at my weight in the trend uh, overview of past week. Um, we can see I finally hit below that difficult 84 kilogram barrier. This was mostly because uh, of not eating at all in the morning and measuring late in the afternoon. So instead of measuring in the morning. Of course, that was not very healthy and I naturally compensated in the next days by eating more and even later in the evening. I even measured 85.75 kilogram on this one day. So that's between these two days, there's two kilograms. For me, key is now to find balance and routine in these amazing times I had. So I can start going to the gym again and sleep and eat normally again, right? So hopefully I can find that balance. And for now, this was SDX. See you next time.